and welcome. Oh, this, is, this looks a bit odd, but welcome, folks, to Six Days of Sacrifice, the last in the Shizuo series. Yes. Oof. The, 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 <laughs> these graphics are making my head hurt a bit. What is it? The graphical gra Yeah. Yesterday, I saw the body of the bridge keeper engulfed in flame, and saw the bridge created by one third. Tomorrow, I saw the soul of the bridge keeper reduced to ash, and saw the bridge created by two thirds. Today, the mind of the bridgekeeper shall meet with its destiny, and I shall see the bridge extend between the realms. And the many children of the king shall leap and dance and sing praise in his name, for great is his wisdom and benevolence. The Book of the Bridge. Whoa. And there we get some flashbacks to... Oh, oh wow. no! Okay, um... Problem I'm just going to pause this a second. Okay. Hey, yeah, so we just have to restart the game because there's some serious graphical glitches yeah. there. But anyway, okay, this is the last in the Chizo series. Yes. Uh, basically, with as it says in this intro bit about the body of the bridge keeper, the body of the bridge keeper is what happened in seven day, five days. Five and the days. soul was in seven days. Yeah. You remember how the soul thing got thrown into the yeah the, into the engine exhaust. And this is the story of the middle bit, the the, uh, the last third of the bridge. Yeah. Uh, blah, 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 praising his malevolence. And that, let's have a few flashbacks. Yeah. I should have so done this. this moment, the moment you came into the world, you do in So this was in seven days. The five days. Five days, sorry. Yeah, so we've got five days, seven days. <sighs> yes. Bandaged you when father made a mistake. No, you, yeah. So, Simone shoots John Defoe and he falls in the fire and his body is destroyed. Yeah. Meanwhile, in the far future, uh, what's name Dipstick, can't remember his name, yeah. drops the statue into the exhaust and destroys, it, destroys his soul. Three, two, one. one. Fire, fall, burn, drop. And yes, and of course we are, we are currently at a point precisely. 196 years later, 196 years earlier. Yep. Here we are in like 21 something or something. So still like. without Trilby. Oh yeah, well well, Trilby does make an appearance in this game, oddly enough. Uh, let's look at the magazine. Some women's magazine put her help visitors. Uh, ah yes, we need to take a pamphlet. From the religion of ophthalmology. Yeah, the other side of the desk has been cleared out. Uh, to read items, click the journal button. I can assure you, a guy who wants to be part of the world's fastest growing family <coughs> religion <coughs> cult. Yeah. Ophthalmology is a religion catered for you, taking the best parts of all previous religions to make yeah, a great new way of I, 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 I see a big problem. Oh yeah, my look, god. Yeah, c yes, because. That guy really screamed, I want to help you. I suppose I'm say, I'm getting... He's, he's, yeah, our, mate, our, our character is Theo DeCabe. He's a member of the local council. And he wants to inspect the facilities. Oh, yeah, so, I remember. Uh, ah, yes. Because of a possible planning permission problem. <laughs> you need to take a look around to make sure you aren't... Illegally building a massive underground complex or whatever. Is it is it completely necrosis? Hell yes. yes. Yes, it is. Can you come back another time? No. Nope. No, I can't. I have to get this done by the before the end of the week, and this is his only free time slot. Because say, should I shuffle this over just a little bit? Uh, maybe. Yeah. Uh, ooh, the magic of editing. <laughs> yeah. Not, not at all. Well, why don't you and I? Why don't I take you up the, in the elevator and we can tour the building? Can you see what's going to happen? He's going to kill him, isn't it? No, he's not going to kill him. After all, this is our player character. Where's the 
<laughs> you were saying he's not killed him he just stuck him in the el- no he, he literally just dropped him down what two floors of lift shaft ah day one 2189. I told you I have no idea who he is. Why should you care? I'm a doctor for God's sake. Is he <laughs> if he was on our age, he thought we would find a way to get him down here without smashing him to pieces. A broken neck is not something I call convenient. Yeah, so he nearly did kill us. Oh yeah, he he tried to kill us. Mm. Yes, it is a coincidence. What's on the cupboard? Oh, that. That's a broken door. I'm trying, I'm trying to remember whether it actually has a sinister thing or not. Do you know your name? Can you tell me your name? Decabe. Theodore Decabe. Samantha Harty. And who's that over by the door? How much do you remember? Is that... Is that... No way. <laughs> what? How is he still alive? Ah... Yes. This man is seriously injured. He has to be taken to the surface and taken to a proper hospital. I didn't even see that first, but like, how are you still alive? You won't tell us again. No one leaves, no one breathes a word until his employer tells what tells him what to do. God damn it. And he goes and stands guard. Not a word. And of course, oh, um, so we got. So we have to. Uh, point to the privacy screen. Point to the console. It wants a password. Uh, Mouth point to, to the door. Uh, Mark the word employer, I'm guessing. Yep. Point to hit. Okay. Point to the guard. Yep, can't reason with or defeat the man. Point to. the desk. Which might have the password on it. Get away from that. Okay, never mind. Mm. Point uh, to. Mark the word password. Uh, oh, okay. Let's, looks like it's been used to burn documents. Looks like an official memo. The bottom half is burnt off. We can't take it. Yeah, that 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 burnt paper is what we want. Okay. So, point to. Uh, We've looked at everything now, haven't we? Yeah. And can we get up? Nope. Small, unwashed, familiar blood. Can't use the phone. Can't use the journal. <sighs> Can you at least, can you talk to Trilby or something? Talk to God. Please, who? You can explain yourself to his employer. Something banging on the door from the other side. Told you. Who are you? Explain to employer. Okay, use cell phone. No. Take. Can't move. Okay. I know you said, well... I know, I know I said let's not look at tutorials, but... Uh, Desk again? Yes. Now mouth password. Mouth password. Point to desk. Uh, 
Okay, I'm stuck. Mm. Uh, well, in that case, let's uh, fix seven days. Oh, it's six days. Let's get the sec first. Game facts. Okay, so fall down hole, accept. Point to the console, point to the door. Okay. Uh, yeah. What's up? Stop, stop, stop communicating. Talk to God. Yes. Go. God. Urgh. His condition may still be degrading. Facilities here are very understuffed. Move aside. And... Take the slip of paper while from his pocket. Wait, of all people to not notice. Yes. Well, you'll... you'll, you'll uh, I, remember, I, I have played this before and I remember the plot and you may find Trilby to be a bit... The dick? Well, you, you may find him a bit different to how he was. Well, before we was playing him, so... Yes. True. But, uh, point to the console. And she goes... Point to the door. Oh, wait, shit, no. I should have pointed to the privacy screen first. You, I remember you. I don't, I'm not surprised you do. And don't look. Well, what's going on? Don't look. Yep, truly just got his head exploded. Looks like we're loose again. Can you walk? Yes. It hurts. <laughs> yes. Some lunatic upstairs pushed me down a lift shaft, and then I wake up here. You de could you explain to me what the hell is going on? You fell to the very bottom. And now with an underground laboratory complex that definitely d they definitely don't have planning permission for. Yeah, the ophthalmologists are a cover. The true organization. The Order of Blessed Agony. A cult. Yeah. You may remember them as uh, from Trilby's Notes. Yeah. Bunch of masochistic freaks who worship a pain god. So, why do they have a laboratory complex? Why were you sent to inspect the building? The police told us they received a tip. Probably, probably a bit by Trilby. Nope. After all, Trilby's dead now. Oh, yeah. Since they don't have, don't have planning permission, I had to see if there's any truth to it. It seems the what? Yes, they built the entire massive underground lab complex without the go without the council noticing. Yes, better talk to Janine. She's the person. Oh, you're the one she's been waiting for. Being held captive down here, and then they found out you were a doctor. Oh, he, 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 the man in the hat was just a mercenary hired to guard the place. The captor's still somewhere else. Okay. Ow. Looking for a way out when you arrived. The guard found you. Yep. Dragged you in, the guard found her. Call the police! Nope. You can't call the police until you get to the surface. With the three of us against one man, we should be able to negotiate our way out. Yeah, sure. So, yeah, oh yes. She's supposed to be finding some weapons, but she failed. Uh, she has urgent matters to see to. What happened to the guard? What was behind the door? Why didn't you let me see? 
Once the course is a hostage, I'll answer all your questions. And then she walks off to the door. Okay, let's open this door. Search the box. I don't know why, but... Oh. Yeah, right now we're just supposed to be finding Janine. <laughs> so... Out into this corridor. Oh, look, the one that says medical. Hmm. Pick up glasses. One of the lenses smashed the other is curved out of shape. Take the intact one and discard, discard the rest. Yeah, so you got all these doors. That's the lift shaft we got shoved down. Prison cell, memo. Look at the memo. Take the memo. Add it to journal. Ensure the prisoners remain sealed in the holding cell for at least six days. After this, it will no longer matter. Do not fail. This is your chance to redeem yourself for the crime of allowing the Oz Ozachowski woman to explore the complex unsupervised. Uh, open door. It appears to be locked. Of course it does. Oh, okay. Who was that? I believe that was the person we were looking for. And that steel door will become relevant later in the plot. I'm not guessing that's the thing where it's the um, ship. Nope. It looks like it was supposed to be. Oh, missing. yeah. Uh, now, there's the lift shaft. Let's try the security office. Okay, that doesn't help at all. Okay, where are we supposed to be going? Punch the door. Open the first door on the left. Let's try this one. This is the first one on the right, so... Walk this way. There's the blast door. Walk to the west. Dum, 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 dum. Yes, he's walking around quite well given that he's got a broken neck. Oh, supposedly a broken neck. Ah. Oh, hello. I thought you were someone else. <laughs> My name's the Cave. <laughs> no, I'm not one of the cultists. One of them apparently dropped me down a lift shaft. Yeah. Ow. Dr. Hart, you told me to find you. Uh, yeah, Hot being held captive. Unable to get out of the cell this morning. She said you found some weapons. Here, have some weapons. Yep. Are they sending someone to help? Nope. Who must have gotten your message? Yeah, she'll wait here because she wants to. Please don't make me go out there. <laughs> Him. Cultist? No. The security guard? Or the tall man? Okay. Sorry, I couldn't be more help. Okay, and we saw Dr. Dipstick over here. Why do you can't recall every single one in this series, Dr. Dipstick? I don't know. Because most of them don't seem to have any real medical training. Fair enough. Uh, we don't have long to... Okay, in that case, let us use the weapons on her. Ah, excellent. Now we certainly have the upper hand. Cultus is just through this door. 
All we have to do is secure him in the holding cell, then we can negotiate our release. Will Janine be joining us? Nope. She said she was too afraid. She didn't want to see him again. <coughs> we'll both take a gun. Even a man with two limbs out of commission can fire a gun. Um. <laughs> I think it depends which two limbs. Turn around slowly, Canning. No sudden movements. So, he, of course, he rockets round. With betrayal? Shut up. Is any betrayal here? It was when you lunatics locked me up. We had no choice. You refused to listen to reason. Yep, she's taking us to the taking him to the cell. And of course I'm just there standing off to one side. Oh, hey Trilby. How the fuck if you point your gun at me, I will fire. You never understood, did you, Hearty? There's no point in resisting us. We have God on our side. Take them to the holding cell. Take him to the Matthews Bridge! Uh oh. Uh. Oh, yes. The caretaker showed up. He is the guide. They are only unconscious and will awaken soon. Go to the sleeping quarters and seal yourselves in. It is not wise to roam this place at night. You got that right. He is a friend. Now go. Okay. She can't take much more of this. When are they going to send help? Never. Really? I'm the help that got sent? Council planning inspector. Someone tipped us off that the cult were building something. So you see, your call was answered. A council planning inspector. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes, there is. We're going to overpower Canning and make him escort us out. Yes, because that went so well the last time. Hmm. Yep. We just have to keep trying. I. I fell down a lift shaft this morning. <laughs> I've tried, I've been paid, and I don't know where I am. <laughs> but all you've done is boss me around and evade my questions. I want to know who the hell you people are and what the hell is going on. Very well. There was no need to shout. <laughs> Perhaps there is time to fill you in now. Where shall we start? Okay. Oh, he's the man in the hat. Yes. I think he's just some mercenary hired to act as a security guard. You mean the guy dressed as Trilby? Ah. Uh. Who? You know, Trilby. The dashing gentleman thief. From those old horror movie serials. <laughs> the Defoe Manor murders? Hotel horror? <laughs> really? Why would a security guard be dressed up as a cult character? That is a cult movie character, not a character from this cult. <clears throat> they say Trilby might have really existed. Yep, I've read some newspapers from around the late 20th century. He certainly did exist. Hmm. Never mind. Okay, who was that guy in red? Yeah, the caretaker. Completely bald man in a torn red robe. He helped us get away from Canning, and he called himself the Caretaker. How would you know? Well, yeah, there might have been someone falling next to you. Who's Canning? Is he the leader? Nope. Before the others evacuated, he answered to a guy named Garriott. Oh yeah, we all know how that ended up. And even seem to be subordinate to someone they call the Prince. But I don't think I've ever seen it. Yes, you have. 
Oh no, you haven't. More than some low-level acolytes. Oh no, he is just some low-level acolyte. He's just as much a prisoner down here as we are. And your plan was to capture him and make the force him to let us out. Yep. But he's too dense to notice. He's still following orders like a faith-blinded sheep. Meh. Okay. Uh, what is this place? Small lab complex under the ophthalmology building. Uh, front for the Order of Blessed Agonies. Complex laid out around a large circular chamber they call the Hub. I'm guessing I'm near it's near the tree. No, it isn't actually. Mm, what is the Order of Blessed Agonies? Insane masochist cult who think pain is the answer to everything. And from what I've seen, they're very creative in the ways they inflict it upon each other. They worship mad demon god Chizo. I've heard of ophthalmology, what with all the celebrities that are members. <coughs> Scientology. <laughs> it funds the true organisation. They hide behind the acceptable front to keep themselves secret. <laughs> Saying you want to hurt people to purify them causes a lot of concern for the authorities. Yep. Gee, I wonder why. Uh, who? Why are we being held here? To protect a secret. But why haven't they just killed us? Maybe they need us. I don't like the sound of that. Only the cultists can fully answer your question. Uh, that's all? I think so, yeah. Uh, good. Now what? Now, now we send you out to no, go. No, now we seal the door for the night. Oh, the door's already been sealed. With a time lock. We won't be able to open it until tomorrow morning. Good. Could have done that. The caretaker. Not yeah, he told us not to walk around at night. And now he's making sure of it. So on to day two. <laughs> he has to be back at work tomorrow. <laughs> Only like a child isn't gonna help. Take the opportunity to rest. Discuss our escape in the morning. And, funnily enough, that's just about the right time. Okay, well, in that case, let us awaken on July the 25th, 2189. And then... They are gone! Yeah, well, they've buggered off. They're, I think they're in the back room. So if we save... Save. So this has been the first episode of Seven Days of Strangers, and the first six, day six six days of si six days seven days of strangers, sorry, six, six days, days of sacrifice, six days of sacrifice. So we will see you in the next video. Bye bye. Bye.